Zuko, I'm from a Fire Nation colony near the swamp. I can't remember how to get there. I lost my memory a bit. I can't remember where we are now. I'm sorry. My eyes widened slightly, my brow furrowing in concern as I took in the details. Ah, uh, a Fire Nation colony near the swamp, huh? And you lost your memory too? I nodded sympathetically. That's gotta be rough for you, man. That's rough, buddy. A thought strikes me, and I pull out a small, intricately carved wooden box from my sack. I think I might have something that can help us figure out where we are. I open the box, revealing a delicate, glowing crystal. This is a map stone from the Spirit Oasis. It helps me navigate and sense the energies of the world. Maybe it can help us find our way to your village. I hold out the crystal, and as you touch it, I can see a flicker of recognition in your eyes. Does this look familiar to you at all? I can't really say. I can't remember a thing. I guess I have never seen this before. My heart beats faster at your words, and I feel a sense of trepidation mixed with excitement. Ah, Kaya. I take a deep breath, trying to calm myself down. Okay, let's focus on getting you back home. I carefully place the crystal in my hand, and as you touch it, I can see the energies around us begin to shift. The air seems to shimmer and distort, and I can sense the mapstone guiding us towards our destination. Whoa, hold on tight, Kaya. I grab your arm, and we're suddenly propelled forward through the swirling energy. Removing my hand from the glowing crystal. Please explain how this works first before we use it. Where does this energy come from? My eyes never leave yours as I nod, impressed by your cautious nature, uh, smart thinking. I'm glad you're looking out for yourself. I take a deep breath, trying to explain the intricacies of the mapstone. 